Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to add a course after the registration period has passed. This is for your fall 2020 semester. Once you have logged into WebAdvisor, you want to click into your student's menu and you will see a variety of options. You want to make sure that you are registering for the correct courses by checking your education plan that you have completed with your counselor. Once you have completed that step, you will click on register and drop classes under the registration tab. Once you have done that, you will see a variety of options. You will have the option to search and register for classes, use the express registration, register for previously selected classes, or drop classes here. Today, I will focus on the top two. First, we can look at express registration. Express registration is for the students that already have an ad code from an instructor or professor and want to input that information to add the class. First, you will click on subject and find the class. Today, I will show you the example of student development and then you want to input the course number and the section number. Next, you will click on Term and pick Fall 2020, then click Submit. Once you have done that, you will scroll down and under Action, you will click on the drop down menu and click Register. Next, you will input your ad code that you have received from an instructor or professor. Once you have input the ad code, you want to ensure that you are checkboxing both this box and this box after you have read the description. Next, you will click Submit and you should be registered for your courses. The next way I would like to show you is search and register for classes. And this is for the students that want to find emails to, in order to email their professor or instructor to add a class. To do that, you will click on Term, Fall 2020. Next, the subject. So today I will give the example of English for this example. You will click on English. The course number, we don't know yet, or the section number. So we will click Submit. Once it has popped up, you will see a variety of options again. For this, it is important that you know what you assessed into and what you and your counselor have decided on what to take. I, would, I will show you the English flowchart that will assist you. If you assessed, you took the placement and your result was English 101, then you will register for English 101. If you took the placement and you, and you have the co-requisite of English 086 and English 101, that means that you must take these courses together, otherwise you will be blocked. And for the same instance with English 087 and English 101. So for this example, we will use English 086 and English 101. So we will look for Eng English 086. You can always click on the blue tab to see what class this is a prerequisite with. So you can always check the comments right here. It lets you know that this section is linked with English 101 section one. So that means that you must have an, two ad codes for this course from this instructor right here. So once you have found out that information, you may email the instructor and professor. Once you have gotten that ad code, you can go ahead and choose both of those sections. So now I will click on the checkbox here and then I will find English 101 with section one. Once I have done that, I will click submit. Again, you can always do this through the express registration once you have known what class you want to add. Next, you will click under the action drop bar. You will click register, register, and register for all three courses. 
Next, you will input the ad code from the instructor. You will need two for this, these two courses, and that will be the same for any other course that has a co-requisite. If it does not have a co-requisite, then you can register and have one ad code. Again, you want to make sure you click on these in these boxes and click submit. And you should be all set. Have a great day. Bye.